Hey Falcon fans, I'm Thomas Mott. Welcome to Atlanta Falcons today. We are a couple days away from the second preseason game down to Hard Rock Stadium against the Miami Dolphins, but I want to start today's show by getting into some of the surprise cut candidates, guys who could be cut when we get closer to the end of August deadline where you go from right now 85 players, then down to 80 players, then all the way down to 53 players. There'll be a lot of cuts. Who are the surprise potential ones? We'll jump into that here in just a couple of minutes. First, though, quick preview. Again, reminder, Dolphins coming up on Saturday, your one road game for the Atlanta Falcons during their three preseason game stretch. It is the 21st of August, 7 p.m. Eastern time, as Atlanta will look to play the starters. I'm being told that you're going to probably see uh, the starters play a couple of couple series, maybe a little bit longer, depending on what Arthur Smith likes, but you will for sure, most likely, I mean, we can't guarantee things because it is Thursday and things can change, but Matt Ryan should be out there, so looking forward to that, and also, again, these cut candidates are all guys to watch that we're going to talk about for the Dolphins game, because if they play well in the next couple preseason games, maybe they won't be cut, right? Now, let's jump into number one, no particular order, we'll start with AJ McCarron. Now, we're talking surprise cuts, not cuts that are guaranteed to happen, they're surprise cuts, and so McCarron is one of those guys who is in a very tough battle right now for the number two quarterback spot on the Falcons' depth. We talked about this, right? McCarron is the, the the one I think they want to win the battle because he has the NFL pedigree and the NFL starts and a little more knowledge in an NFL offense. But there's a guy right behind him in Felipe Franks who is playing pretty well, and he's not playing poorly. It's not like both of them are playing very, very well at all. I mean, both have been pretty bad over the past couple of, of uh, training camp practices as well as games, but I think Franks is a lot closer than people realize behind A.J. McCarron. So while the likelihood is that they'll keep A.J. McCarron and then I, I cut and then re-sign uh, Felipe Franks to the practice squad, there is still a chance for McCarron to go ahead and be the odd man out and Felipe Franks to go ahead and win the number two quarterback job. I am hearing that Franks might get to run a couple of series with the number twos during the Saturday game against the Miami Dolphins at Hard Rock Stadium. So keep an eye on that, right? You have Matt Ryan come in with, with, the two, with the ones, you have McCarron come in with the twos, and then before you sub out all the twos, you bring in Franks to go ahead and run with the twos, and then finish up with the threes like he did in their first preseason game against the Tennessee Titans. So, again, I think that McCarron will make the roster. I think that you're going to go and re-sign Felipe Franks to the practice squad, but if you want a surprise cut candidate, McCarron is up there because everything I've heard is that it's not Matt Ryan, A.J. McCarron, Felipe Franks. It's Matt Ryan, A.J. McCarron, Felipe Franks. Like, it's like, like they're they're right there. So, they like them with the mobility and the arm strength of Franks, and so we're going to see what happens. Give me your thoughts. So, who wins the uh, number two quarterback job? If you get a guess right now, again, Saturday's going to go a long way in determining that. If one guy throws a couple of picks, one guy throws a couple of touchdowns, obviously, they're going to be the leaders in the clubhouse. But if you think that Felipe Franks is going to win the job, type FF. I think AJ McCarron's going to win the job. Go ahead and go to below and type AM. All right, I'm going to jump into number two and number three. We're going to combine them together here. We're talking about five, and so we're going to go and get into number two and number three because there are two running backs to me that uh, are going to be cut. The question is which one gets cut first, and then which one has a chance to maybe make the roster. It's Javion Hawkins and Caleb Huntley. Now, people are going to tell me, oh, Thomas, Javion Hawkins has been uh, my favorite under free agent. He's going to make the roster. Doesn't look like he's going to. Like, the most recent Falcons running back depth chart has him at the very bottom. And I know that he gets moved around in different depth charts when you're looking at your screen. But right now, according to the one released today, and uh, to, to, to kind of just preview what they're going to do against the Miami Dolphins, he is at the very, very bottom. I don't think Hawkins is going to go ahead and make this roster. Huntley is is a long shot to make the roster. In the current depth chart, he's behind a guy like Deontay Foreman, and Deontay Foreman not even make the roster. I think the issue is right now for both Hawkins and Huntley, they're not playing well, and David Hawkins did nothing in the first preseason game against the Titans. It'll take a very, very big preseason game on Saturday against the Dolphins in order for him to go ahead and have a shot to make this roster. But Kadri Allison is a guy they want to make the roster. Not saying that he's played well enough to guarantee that spot, but they want him to go ahead and make this final roster. And so I think Allison is going to be the guy that takes a lot of these spots. I think they're going to keep Deontay Foreman, maybe. But again, the long hill, the long uphill battle for Hawkins was not only the fact he was under, under the free agent. There were guys ahead of him that they like a little better. They like a Deontay Foreman a little bit better because he, one, had worked in an Arsenal offense uh, last year, and two, was an actual draft pick versus being undrafted. They want Kadri Allison to not be a bust. Like, they're trying really hard to get him to go ahead and make the roster. Again, if Hawkins comes out on Saturday and balls out of his mind, if he gets enough snaps in order to be able to do so, then maybe he'll go ahead and make the roster. But I think him and Huntley are both going to be cut I don't see how both of them make the roster. I think they'll re-sign Hawkins to the practice squad because you got to fill the practice squad. You know, you need double-digit guys in order to go ahead uh, and, and fill those slots. But I don't think that Hawkins is going to be this surprise. He hasn't been really a camp surprise. I don't think he's going to be a guy that they keep. I think they're going to cut him, throw him on my list of surprise camp cuts. All right, we'll get into number three here. It's a wide receiver, a little spoiler alert. But before we do, make sure you guys are subscribed to Atlanta Falcons today as we keep you guys up to date on all the things happening inside the ATL. As we get closer to week one against the Philadelphia Eagles, it's going to be a really fun matchup. I'm going to that football game 
game. I'll be in the stands at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for Eagles-Falcons. It's going to be an absolute blast. And, of course, that means plenty more coverage, not just leading up to the game, but after the game and, uh, you know, every single game after that, right? We cover everything here on the channel. So make sure you guys go down below and hit that red subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it because it helps us out and gives you guys free content regarding your favorite team, the Atlanta Falcons. Okay, um, let's go to number three here. There's going to be a wide receiver who's cut. The question is, who's it going to be? Is it Taja Sharp? Is it going to be Christian Blake? You know, is it going to be Frank Darby? I, I think it's going to be Christian Blake. I think if you had to pick between one of the three, it's probably going to be Blake because Zacchaeus is going to make the roster. Obviously, Ridley and then, you know, Russell Gage are going to make it. But who's going to be that wide receiver five? I think it's going to be Darby. And here's the deal. Not like Darby has played super great so far. I mean, he hasn't done hardly anything in the first preseason game and training camp, you know, a little iffy. But Darby, did, he basically deserves a shot because the ceiling for Frank Darby is unknown, right? The ceiling for Christian Blake, to me, is pretty much known. He's a wide receiver four or five at best. He hasn't shown anything over the past couple of games, or really the first preseason game or during training camp, to go ahead and prove that he's way better than Frank Darby. But Darby hasn't jumped out to be like, oh, well, obviously, I'm here for a reason. No, he's a sixth-round draft pick, fifth-round draft pick, sixth-round draft pick, sorry, uh, for a reason. And he's not played well, and I think it will take again, a big Saturday from him and a lot of these other receivers in order for them to go ahead and really secure that roster spot. But I think that the idea with Darby here is that you just drafted him. He's a Arthur Smith guy, whereas Christian Blake, not an Arthur Smith guy. And so I think they're going to go ahead and keep Darby. That means that Blake is probably the odd man out. Tazi Sharp, I don't think is going to be let go. I think he's been uh, the better of the three so far in training camp. So we'll put him ahead of that uh, on the overall roster. I think he's going to go ahead and make the final roster. Um, predict the score. Give me a score prediction. Falcons Dolphins. How do you guys feel about that one? Falcons Dolphins. Falcons, of course, you know, didn't score a lot of points, hardly any, against the Tennessee Titans. And so, what do you, what do you guys want to go for the the, uh, the Falcons score versus the Dolphins? Pin comment in the comment section. Give me your prediction. We'll see if anyone is right down below as we get into our stuff uh, happening on Sunday and Monday. Monday. Now, if you guys want to bet on that game, feeling confident about your pick, we got a deal for you guys with our friends at BetUS. Go to chatsports.com forward slash betfalcons. That's betfalcons. Use the promo code FALCONS125. Get a 125% deposit bonus whenever you first sign up. You bet on the Falcons. You can also bet on our Red Hot Braves. I mean, how about Freddie Freeman hitting for the cycle just the other day? I mean, the Braves are on fire. Lenny United is playing well. I mean, right now, everyone in Atlanta is playing pretty darn good uh, uh, games. And so get in on the betting with them. The Dolphins are five-point favorites, probably due to the fact that they're at home, and you'll probably see a lot more two, and then you will see Matt Ryan. But either way, bet on Atlanta, whether you want to bet for them or against them with our friends at BetUS. Chutsports.com forward uh, slash BetFalcons. Promo code is Falcons125 to get that 125% deposit bonus. Okay, another cut candidate here. This one I don't think is going to happen. It's the last one of a five on our list, but we got to throw the name out there because he's been struggling in training camp. It's Kendall Sheffield. Now, I started really the entire offseason talking about how Kendall Sheffield's probably going to be cornerback number one. Well, so far, he's not really been that so far at training camp. I mean, he has struggled a lot, and right now, he's listed as the third string cornerback behind Chris, uh, Chris Williamson, Isaiah Oliver. He's right there in the Darren Hall type range. And so I think that if there was a move that might be made that could surprise people, it's going to be Ke uh, uh, Kendall Sheffield. Now, I personally still think he has enough talent. I think he showed a little bit of it. He wasn't great last year, but showed enough talent to go ahead and be a cornerback on this roster. I think he will end up making the roster, but we're going through some prize cut candidates, Sheffield definitely makes the list because the Falcons just don't seem very high on him. And the fact that Isaiah Oliver has been moved back to corner after he briefly was like a safety or a DB or whatever it was uh, on the Falcons depth chart, which was really strange, back to cornerback. They like Oliver a lot better. And so obviously I think it's to be AJ Terrell and probably Isaiah Oliver as your two. But you have Fabian, Fabian Monroe out there as well. And so a lot of options. I think they'll keep Sheffield, but he could be a surprise cut candidate. So we'll throw him here to finish out our list of five. Again, here's our list. AJ McCarron. Again, I think Age McCarron is going to be cut. Probably, I wouldn't bet on it, but you never know. If, if Felipe Franks plays well on Saturday, that can be a change very quickly. Javon Hawkins or Caleb Huntley, one of the two, maybe both, might be cut because they. I think they're going to keep Deontay Foreman. I could be wrong on that. I think that uh, Arthur Smith's um, uh, time spent with Deontay Foreman is going to go a long way, the comfort in the Smith system. Blake, he seems to be the odd man out in the wide receiver list just because, again, they want to keep Frank Darby and Tasha Sharps played very, very well, uh, or better, I should say, in training camp. And then I just mentioned Kendall Sheffield. Do I think that Sheffield is going to be on the final roster? Yes, but it, could he be right there in the bubble? Yes. If he struggles against twos and threes on Saturday, that could be a really good indicator that they might go ahead and let the former fourth-round draft pick out of Atlanta go ahead and go. All right, ultimate for today here on Atlanta Falcons today. And make sure you guys are subscribed to stay up to date on all the latest stuff that we have happening here on the channel. We're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers and then five and then six and get the ball rolling here as we try to provide you guys a short, concise, I mean, 10 minutes, just quick updates on everything that's happening with your Atlanta Falcons, right? You watch SportsCenter and 
how much to the sports center can talk about the Falcons every single day? Like none. It's where we do that almost every single day here on the channel. And so make sure you guys go ahead and go down below and subscribe. Because the deal is, the more subscribers that we have, the more time we can put into building this channel and giving you guys more content as it comes to us. Because we, of course, you know, when the Falcons stuff happens, that's when we go ahead and cover it. So make sure you guys go down below uh, and subscribe. We would greatly appreciate it. All right, ultimate for today here on Atlanta Falcons today. I'm your host, Thomas Mott. Again, Falcons, Dolphins coming up on Saturday. Stay tuned uh, for that one. Keep an eye on that one. We're going to talk about it a lot coming up next week. Again, Thomas Mott signing off. You guys enjoy the rest of your day.